check out BigBadToyStore.com for this and other great toys. It gets kind of hot in these rhinos. If you know what movie that's from, Emgo will give you a hundred dollars. Wait, what? But no, I'm not. Don't say things like that. Hey, what's up, YouTube land? Emgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Generations Voyager Class Rhinox. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So here it is, his name is Rhinox, Twin Spinning Gatling Guns of Doomage. Um, here is a very, very cool picture of Rhinox, I really love that artwork. Very, very cool. Yes, he is a Maximal, that's right. Maximal, maximizing and stuff and things, Maximal, and yeah, and all that. Um, there you have your obligatory product shot. There you have your tech specs if you want to take a look at that. And there is your bio if you want to read it. And that's it for the packaging. So moving right along here, we have Rhinox. And yes, he's a rhino. And he is a dang good looking rhino. This looks so good. And yes, we're going back to Beast Wars and... Uh, I'm loving this, loving this. I'm still waiting for Waspinator to come out. Big Bad Toy Store hasn't gotten him in stock yet, or Skids. I'm waiting for those two. I'm looking forward to Waspinator. But, um, yeah, Rhinox looks awesome. I mean, this is a really good-looking Rhino. I mean, very nicely done. I mean, you got some nice, some nice details there. Got the eyes painted in. Looks really, really nice. I mean, it looks like, you know, like Rhino flesh. And since I've never been that close to a rhino, I'm assuming this is what rhino flesh looks like. You know, just making an assumption here. <laughs> I'm sorry to all the rhino enthusiasts that may be out there. He does have a little tail, look, little soft, little soft plastic tail. Actually, this whole back butt flap right here, this is all a soft plastic, a very soft plastic. You can just move it around quite easily. But, um... Yeah, he looks really cool. Um, the ears are also a, a softish plastic, as well as the horn. Even the horn is a little bit of a softish plastic, so you don't, you know, jab your eye out. But, um, yeah, he looks really, really cool. like the paint apps. I mean, there's not a lot of paint apps on this mode, because, you know, how much color does a rhino really have? But, you know, those little toenails are picked out and white, and, you know, the horn's picked out, the eyes are picked out, and that's all you really need. Um, posability wise, um, this is pretty much all he can do. I mean, there is a little bit of wiggle room here. And the front arms, the back legs don't really do much. The front legs don't do much. Um, this is basically all he does. His head doesn't move at all. Uh, you can open his mouth. You know, and all of his teeth are painted in too, which is nice. Um, one downside to opening his mouth is if you do it, ah! yeah, he does that too. He does that. Um, <laughs> visible hit syndrome. Ah, God. It's terrifying. But yeah, very, very, very cool rhino mode. I love it. I really, really do. Very nicely done. Now for comparison, we'll bring in some of his other, uh, some of the other revisited Beast Wars characters. Here we have him with Dinobot. So you can see how they look together. And here he is with his maximal buddy, Cheetor. And you can see how they look together. They look like they're going to charge at each other. Like, you know. <laughs> That's what it looks like it's going to happen. That's, so, there you have that. So you can see how they look together. And just for the heck of it, I do actually have an original Beast Wars Rhinox right here. So you can see how they look together. Oh, look at that. That's precious. That's precious. Why does he have a gold horn? Rhinos don't have gold horns. If they were, they would be so much more valuable. But there you have it. <laughs> the past and the future. Right there. But yeah. 
really cool loving it loving it loving it ah i i, I really uh, you know i've been chomping at the bit to have this figure in my hands and i'm so happy with him he's very very cool very nice and in case anybody's wondering keep calm and roll out i found that t-shirt at my local comic book shop and i had to buy that that was just too cool to not have so <laughs> in case anybody's wondering that's where i got it at my local comic book shop <laughs> but um yeah back to rhinox he's awesome awesome rhino mode love it love it love it so now we'll get down to transformation shall we let's so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with the back here we're gonna take his butt flap here and untab it like that and again this whole thing is just a soft piece of plastic um so you just want to bring that up out of the way you want to just untab these sections right here. Oh, well, first, you want to come down here, take this section right here, untab it, and bring it up like that. Bring those side pieces up, because that will free up the hips. Bring that up. There you go. Now we can untab the hips like that. And once you do that, you can come in under here. Just want to grab all of this, rip his guts out. Put that off to the side. We'll use that later, and now he has no guts. I'm just kidding. Rhinox has a lot of guts, man. He's 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 a tough guy. But uh, moving right along. After that, you want to come here and you want to take these pieces right here. And you'll see they're on their double hinge here. You just want to take them, bring them back like that. And then you can bring the robot foot down. Like that, and now you're just going to take this whole piece right here, and just bring it down, and it'll just wrap around the calf, like that. Do the same thing here, just bring it down, and just push it, and it'll all just wrap around, like that. Now you want to bring this whole hip assembly down, it's on a, uh, on a hinge right here. So you know, just bring this whole assembly down, bring the legs down, and you're going to rotate this. 180, and there you basically got your lower body done. Now, now you got some kind of funky rhino minotaur mode. I don't know what's going on. I really don't. It's kind of scary, actually. <laughs> now, what are you going to do? I'll tell you what you're going to do. Now you're going to come here, and you're going to take the uh, arms here. You're going to take them. And bring them out under on a double hinge also. You gotta bring them out. Bring them down like that. Actually, before you do that, I'm gonna bring these up here. You gotta bring these pieces right here, and this is on a double hinge here. Right here. So you're just gonna take it and you're gonna fold it up at this hinge and then bring it back down like that. Then you're gonna take this piece and just angle it in, like so, and just bring that into the body like that. So again, on that double hinge, just going to bring it up here and then bring it back down. Rotate that piece inward and just bring that into the body. Once you do that, you're going to open up the mouth. Ah! Yes, you're going <laughs> to untab. And basically, uh, there's a there's a post right here that tabs right into the back of this piece right here, and that's what locks it into place. So once you have to untab that, you're going to take this whole assembly here, which you bring it down. Push it into the body, that'll lock into place, bring that panel down, bring the lower jaw down, and now you can take these side pieces here and just angle them in so they fill out everything properly. Once you do that, now you can bring those shoulders down. They don't lock in, but there is, you know, an, uh, an indentation here that will just slide right over those panels. Bring the arms down. And you're going to slide the forearms down. They don't lock in any way whatsoever, and that's kind of unfortunate because this one is kind of loose. So in Rhino mode, it tends to just kind of flop back down, but well, whatever, it's not the end of the world. But you're going to pull it down, rotate it so this is facing forward. going to pull this out, pull out the fist, close it back up, and there you got an arm done. Second verse, same as the first. Pull that down, rotate it, open it up, slip out the hand, Close that back up, and then you're going to take this whole rhino head assembly, just bring that back, make sure that's up against his back, 
like that, and then just bring this down on top of it, like that. Make a nice little rhino head backpack. And there you have it, there is Rhinox in robot mode. Mine has a little bit of a loose knee. I like to fix that up with some floor polish. But yeah, there is Rhinox, and he is awesome. Love him, love him, love him. Now, when you first get him, you will have a bit of trouble standing him up, and that's just because of the way this joint works. Uh, this joint right here, if, if you leave this joint all the way down, it kind of leaves his legs closer to the front of his body, so all this weight here on the back just kind of pulls him back. Basically, what you want to do to remedy that is you're just going to take this and bring it up like that. And that brings his, hip up, his hips up closer to his body. So it's actually the way it's supposed to look. And it also brings his hips right under his shoulders where they're supposed to be. So that way his center of balance is centered. Did that make any sense? His center of balance is centered? What? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But once you do that, he should be able to stand just fine. And he's making a liar out of me. There he is. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> I'm telling the truth for once. <laughs> now he's going to fall. <laughs> Stop making a liar out of me, Rhinox. Let's bring that back a little bit more. I mean, and it doesn't lock in anywhere, so you have the freedom to just kind of, you know, move it back as far as you, as you need to. But believe it or not, he is actually quite stable once you get him all, uh, once you get everything working right. And of course, this tablecloth doesn't help either. It's not the, the flyest thing on the planet. There we go. There's Rhinox. And he is awesome. Very, very, very awesome. Love this figure. He is... When he actually stands, I love this figure. <laughs> Let's get in close here on the head sculpt. Very, very cool head sculpt. He even has the maximal symbols on his forehead. Very cool. Nice, nice head sculpt. And just a nice sculpt overall. Lots of nice gold paint going on here. Just really digging it. Loving the details. Just looks so, so good. So cool. Even with a big rhino head on his back, it still looks just awesome. Awesome, awesome. It just, it looks like Rhinox, and that's just very, very cool. Now, articulation-wise, his head is on the ball joint. You can get some good range of movement there. He can, he can look up very well. Um, shoulders... Can do a full 360, they can go in and out. You do get your elbow joint, about that much movement. You do get a swivel at the elbow, um, nothing in the wrist, unfortunately. Um, if you bring this assembly down, you do get a waist, a waist swivel. Uh, the hips can go forward, they can go back, they can go in and out. You do get a thigh swivel, you do get a knee joint. Not a lot of movement there, but enough. Um, you know, he can pivot his toes up and down, and he, he even has an ankle tilt going on here. So. He does have some good posability going on there. Now we'll get to his guts, if I can get him to stand. Stand, man! Stand. There we go. So now we'll get to the guts we ripped out of his stomach. Right here, and what you're going to do with this is you're just going to pull these apart, and these basically just connect via the friction. You just basically are just they're just connecting right here. Inter you know these these uh, these pieces right here. The, the gun barrels are basically just interlocking, and that's what holds them together. So you pull that apart, take the handle, bring it around, click it into place, click it into place, and now you have his twin spinning Gatling chain guns. And you push the buttons, and they do spin. And they spin quite freely. If you hold them down, they, you get some good spin out of them. And this one spins a lot better than this one. But they do spin very, very well. And that's very, very cool. And of course, he can hold them in his Rhinox hands. And hold them in a Rhinox way. Because he's Rhinox. He can do that. And that just makes for all kinds of awesome. All kinds of awesome. Like 20, maybe even 30 different kinds of awesome. 
And I didn't even know there were that many, okay? That's just, that's a lot. That's just a lot, man. Now, for comparison, here he is with Dinobots. So you can see how they look together. They look good together. Let me let me straighten them out so you can get a little better sense of scale here, if I can actually get them to stand up. There we go. So you have them with Dinobots right there. And here he is with the very, very sad-looking Cheetor. Oh, God, this thing looks so sad. Seriously, this is just... Uh, this is this is an experiment gone right. This was a failed experiment right here. I don't know what happened here when they were designing this toy. I mean, this is just... This looks like one of those cats that Sarah McLaughlin sings about, one of those abused animals that Sarah McLaughlin sings about in those commercials. That's what this looks like. This is just sad. I want to give it money because I want to help it. I just don't know what to do. But anyway... <laughs> Oh, Jesus. And here he is with the original Beast Wars Rhinox. Right there. <laughs> I'm serious. The next Sarah McLaughlin commercial is going to be, she's going to be singing about this toy. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. I'm telling you. I will. I'm telling you. It's going to be Cheetor just looking at the camera like, Meh. why doesn't anyone love me? Okay. Anywho, enough bad jokes. <laughs> like that'll happen. But anyway, as far as Rhinox goes, this figure is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I've been so looking forward to this figure. The second it was announced, the second I saw the first pictures of it, I was like, must have it, got it, you know, need it, want it, gotta have it. And now that I have it, I am so happy. He is an amazing figure, just really, really, really cool. Um, one thing I did uh, forget to mention here is, you know, I don't know if this is an official method of storage, but there are these ports back here. They're actually screw holes, but they're deep enough that you can actually plug his guns behind his shoulders. I guess technically you could count that storage, I guess. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, this this guy is just awesome. I, I can't say it enough. I mean, they they knocked this out of the park, as far as I'm concerned. In my in my humble opinion, they knocked this out of the park. This figure is just simply simply amazing. He does you know does have a little bit of problems standing up, but again, nothing that can be remedied. So yeah, definitely. Definitely recommend this guy. If you see him, pick him up. If you have any interest in Beast Wars at all, then you gotta have this guy. This guy is just an amazing, updated representation of Rhinox. He is awesome. Definitely, definitely get him if you see him. So, I think that's pretty much it. So, don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff. Ah, I should totally try that again because, dang it, we're going to do this right. <laughs> Outro fail. Check out M Games. Check out Lori Plant. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. There, I said it. <laughs> and there, that's, I, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Rhinox. MGO. Palm. Face. You know what? No, no, no. I'm not going to let that stand, okay? I'm going to do this outro right, and I'm going to do it right. God dang it. So, <laughs> check out M Games. Check out Lori Plant. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Generations Voyager Class Rhinox. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Palm in your face. Ha! Hey, hey, Cheetor! Look at these! Yeah, where are they? They're Gatling guns. Okay. You wanna know something about them? What? They're awesome. Okay. Yeah. Just wanted you to know a little bit about, uh, who I am. Good talk, Rhinox. Good talk. Hey!
Don't get mad at me because you look like somebody dropped you in a, ca in a garbage disposal.